Let you all open all your three eyes. Om Nityananda Paramashivam In the sacred manual of power manifestation, which serves as a scriptural authority containing the Shastra Pramanas, Eternal Unchangeable Truths, Apta Pramanas, Atma Pramanas, Sakshi Pramanas, and Prataksha Pramanas, we present to you the various powers of Paramashiva. By this, we place before humanity the supreme authenticity of the power manifestation science established by the Supreme Pontiff of Hinduism, Jagat Guru Mahasanidhanam, His Divine Holiness Nityananda Paramashivam. Paramashiva has systematically revealed these powers in their purest forms as various techniques and revelations to experience pure oneness with Paramashiva. As a direct experience of oneness with Paramashiva, his shaktis powerfully manifest in an initiated being at different levels of human consciousness, physicality, physiology, psychology, and neurology permanently. We offer these power manifestation manuals to celebrate your experience of oneness with the Supreme Paramashiva. Nityanandam. Nityanandam. Nyanapatiti manual under the guidance of Supreme Pontiff of Hinduism, Jagatguru Mahasanidhanam, His Divine Holiness, Bhagavan Nityananda Paramashivam. Let's start with the Sadguru Vandanam. Nityanandam Paramasukanam Kevalam Nyanamurtim Dvandvatitam Gaganasadusham Tattamasya Dilakshyam Ekam Nityam Vimalamachalam Sarvadi Sakshibhutam Bhavatitam Trigunarahitam Let's go through the disclaimers. Security measures. No photography, video, audio, recording. Important cautions. Please be aware of the important cautions. What is power manifestation? Let's hear from Bhagwan himself explaining what is power manifestation. All the 25 states of consciousness, when they happen in you due to your chemicals and hormones, ups and downs, it is powerlessness. When it happens in you out of your free will and consciousness, it is powerfulness, that's all. When you fall into sleep, it is powerlessness. When you enter into sleep, it is powerfulness. When you fall into dream, it is powerlessness. When you decide to dream, it is powerfulness. So I have added the ultimate powerfulness Turiyatita Turiyatita in your whole being and doing manifest all the powers. Understand, power manifestation is nothing but cognitive shift. It is not work. It is cognitive shift. Understand? It is just cognitive shift. It's not work. Work is a four-letter word. <laughs> Power manifestation is cognitive shift. Playing with life. Playing with being alive. Static matter, dynamic activity, strategic existence, all these three has no boundary. You are one with it. You are alive in everything. Everything listens to you. Everything 
decides as you want. Power manifestation is cognitive shift, raising your frequency, not work. Now let's understand who is Paramashiva. Bhagwan himself has beautifully explained the Paramashiva in all of us. Paramashiva does manifestation, maintenance, rejuvenation, Pulling out of delusion and liberation. He resides in his supreme Paramashiva Swarupa as Ajomuha, Aradomuha, unborn. Beyond form, formlessness. His Paramashiva Swarupa. That Paramashiva Swarupa manifests with these five faces as Sadashiva, Tatpurusha, Vamadeva, Ahora, Satyojata, Ishana. Five faces he manifests and does the Panjakritya, Srishti. Manifestation, Stiti, Sustenance, Samhara, Rejuvenation, Trobhava, Pulling out of Delusion, Anugraha, Liberation. Understand, he does all these five jobs. Through these five faces, now listen carefully. Tatpurusham, Vamadevam, Satyojatam, Ahoram, Ishanam. These five faces, Das Panchakrityas, each face, each dimension, is not just one F A C E face, P H A S E face. It's not just F A C E, P H A S C. -E. Understand? The creation, not just creation getting created, even sustenance need to be created. Destruction need to be created and pulling out of delusion need to be created. Liberation need to be created. Then create creation, manifestation need to be maintained. Maintenance, stiti itself need to be maintained. Destruction, samhara. The rejuvenation need to be sustained, maintained when it is happening. Pulling out of delusion, throbhava, need to be maintained when it is happening. And anugraha, liberation, Need to be maintained when it is happening. Those micro milliseconds when it is happening. So understand. Satyojata Murti as five face. Ishana Murti as five face. Vamadeva Murti as five face. Agora Murti as five face. Tatpurusha Murti as five face. So, Tatpurusha Murti has his five face. Agora Murti has his five face. Vamadeva Murti has his five face. Satyojata Murti has his five face. Ishana Murti has his five face. All these five Murtis, five five faces put together is twenty-five faces of Mahasadashiva. Bhagavan beautifully explained 
Paramashiva. Now, who is His Divine Holiness, Bhagwan Nityananda Paramashivam? Let's hear from Bhagwan Himself. Supreme Pontiff of Hinduism, Jagatguru Mahasanidhanam, His Divine Holiness, Bhagwan Nityananda Paramashivam, is a reviver of Kailasha, the ancient Enlightenment civilization, the great cosmic borderless nation. Is an avatar from and is a supreme pontiff of Hinduism. His Divine Holiness, Bhagavan Nityananda Paramashivam, has made science of our manifestation, yoga, temple based university for humanity, so which in order of Kailasha, led by His Divine Holiness, Bhagavan Nityananda Paramashivam, and Nityananda Order of Monks, Nuns, Hindu diasporas are working for global peace to give superconscious breakthrough to humanity. Nityananda Hindu University, world's largest with extended campus in 150 countries, is collecting, organizing, preserving, time capsuling, decoding, spreading, and reviving 20 million source books of Hinduism and 64 sacred arts. Science like Ayurveda, music, dance, sculpting, astrology, Vastu, and many more. His Divine Holiness, Bhagavan Nityananda Parameshwam, is 293rd. Guru Vaha Sanidhanam of Shamala Pita Sarvanya Pita, ancient apex body of Hinduism and present emperor of Surya Vamsa Surangi Swamrajyam. His Divine Holiness, Bhagavan Nityananda Parameshwam, has survived the worst prosecution of multiple assassination attempts on person and character by anti Hindu elements. Beautifully, Bhagavan now explains who's His Divine Holiness. Bhagavan Nityananda Paramashivam. Everything is infinitely powerful. You realize your potentiality. You establish yourself in the completion, space of completion. You are God, that's all. All of us are gods. The first experience is that I was able to see everything around me, above me, the whole 360 degree. I realized not only I was able to see, I was able to feel, experience the skin of the stone on rock on which I was sitting and the skin of this body both carry me equally. In both I exist equally. Sangha is a place where the tattvas are taught to you and till it becomes satya, you are supported. Akadas are basically founded by Sadashiva himself. All is Ganas. Shiva Ganas. Exactly the word Gana means. In your length, breadth, depth, if you are filled by Shiva, you are Shiva Gana. All the Shiva Ganas formed the first Akada. Later on, much later, Kapilamuni organizes Mahanirvani Akada. Then, all other Akadas. Mahamandaleshwar of Mahanirvani Akada, the oldest apex body of Hinduism, I welcome every one of you. from original Agamas Yoga Pada, the science very clearly declares, Sadashiva is very clear, manifestation of these powers happen when you experience oneness with Sadashiva. When you 
choose your guru the best thing is find a person who is enlightened experience who can play with energy who can directly transmit experience to you and who is in tune with the original shastras the source of the knowledge all the revealed scriptures available about the yoga directly by sadashiva for you to do research study practice question the people who teach the science of our manifestation is a gift to the humanity which is authentic time tested scientific and foolproof diksha or the initiation from his divine holiness nityananda parameshwar makes the science directly an experience for the initiates the experience is directly authenticated by the pramanas the shastra pramanas the eternal unchangeable truth revealed in the source scriptures the veda and agamas the apta pramanas the experience of the rishis munis ganas nayanamars alvars and siddhars who are the authority of hinduism who are who have scientists who time tested and verified the science of our manifestation the atma pramanas are the avatar who land on the planet earth to give a super conscious breakthrough to humanity his divine holiness bhagwan nityananda parameshwaram this millenniums avatar personal experience of pa manifestation shakshi pramanas or the experience of the millions of disciples devotees and followers initiated into the science of pa manifestation by bhagwan himself pratyaksha pramanas or the scientific studies which can be measured measuring the effect of being in the enlightened state now let's go to the path of cognition from bhagavad gita decoded listen when you are complete with the you the universe will be complete with you when you are incomplete with you the universe will be incomplete with you complete with you is satori completion with the cosmos is samadhi beautifully bhagwan says the satori that happens is completion with you and completion with kama cosmos is samadhi as a universal consciousness krishna is all in one he is the creator sustainer rejuvenator he is the brahman vishnu shiva he is the transcendent all three as para brahman the supreme consciousness beautifully he says the universal consciousness krishna is one in one he is the creator he is sustainer he is the rejuvenator he is the brahman he is the he is brahma vishnu and shiva he is also transcendent all three as the prara brahman there is no superior or inferior the supreme consciousness just manifest on planet earth beautifully bhagwan has given us a very simple straight cognition he says the universe will be incomplete with you if you are incomplete if you are complete the whole universe will be complete with you but beautifully with this powerful cognition let's go to the shastra pramana of vibhuti spanda sutra 3.4 and 3.5 yatha hi arto sputo drishta savadhane pi chetasi bhuya sputa taro bhati swabalo dhyoga bhavitah tatha yat paramarthena yena yatra yathastitam तथाबलमाक्रम्य न चिरा संप्रवर्तते स्पंद कारिका सेक्शन 3 विभूति स्पंद सूत्र 3.4 3.5 भगवान परमेश्वर सेस इंडीड जस्ट एज एन ऑब्जेक्ट और स्टैटिक मैटर व्हिच इन स्पाइट ऑफ ऑल द अटेंडिवनेस ऑफ द माइंड इज परसीव्ड 
and seem indistinctly at first, then appears and manifests more distinctly and clearly when observed with the strength of one's visual power. So when the yogi restores to the power of spanda, the dynamic activity, in the highest essential nature of oneness with Paramashiva, then whatever things or object or idea which is static matter exist in the highest dimension in whichever form, whichever place, time, state, dimension, these things or object at once manif appears and manifests in that very way by the nature of the strategic existence. Bhagavan beautifully said in the powerful cognition, how if you're complete with the universe, you, you'll, if you're complete with yourself, you're complete with the universe. How Muruga and Ganesha, the Ganesha embodiment of completion, the minute the mother said, you have to go around the world, all he knew was the parents. And he went around Shiva and Parvati, the ultimate, the whole cosmic mother and cosmic father. And simply, he became complete, complete. Muruga, even though he went around the world, it took him so much of time and effort and struggle. That is what Bhagavan says. When you are aligned with the Guru, it is like just going around your parents. If you have to do it all by yourself, it's like going around the world. It might happen. It might not happen. No guarantee. And so beautifully, the mango was given to Ganesha for simple cognition, very simple cognition. Be complete inside and be complete with the cosmos. When Guru says surrender everything and completely experience the oneness with the Guru and simply doing that will ma make you manifest all the powers of Paramashiva. Bhagavan beautifully explained how we are complete and we experience the Satori but we are complete with the whole universe. You experience the Samadhi, the ultimate oneness with Paramashiva. The more and more you empty inside, the more and more we will be able to experience the oneness. <coughs> the beautiful space, how we start seeing that inside is only the space of Paramashiva to manifest our reality. Nothing other than Paramashiva experience is there with you. The more and more bhakti, jnana vairagya bhakti, the more and more we can experience the space of Paramashiva. All gopikas only experienced Krishna as an ultimate reality. The way they existed is from Jnana Vairagya Bhakti. All the beautiful space, each one experienced like Karna Moksha, Bhikshma Boksha is such a beautiful space of how they lived in only the space of giving up everything, just doing the Thyaga, whether it's Karna or Bhishma, ready to give the do the Thyaga to any level, just to give up everything, just in the space of Krishna. When Krishna asked Karna, he knew very well that he will lose his life, but he was ready to give his life without the love for giving up everything for just being oneness with Krishna. He would have not done it. Such a pure space of oneness just raised him to the ultimate, the depth that he had to experience that same Bhishma doing the Thyaga for everything. Ultimately, he got liberated also as Bhishma Moksha. And the beautiful space of living and enjoying the whole life, Bhagavan beautifully says, more and more you are integrated to the higher reality when you are in love with the master. And simply you will start radiating more integrity towards everything you do. And such powerful cognition to experience the Satori and the Samadhi and manifesting the powers of Paramashiva. Now let's go to the Apva Pramana. The A Apta Pramana is from official website of Satya Sai Baba. Here he is teleporting the Prasadam, Vibhudi 
also gain special interest and meaning for the devotees of Bhagwan Satyasai from his childhood days ever since he declared the avatar hood Satyasai materialized Vibhuti from the thin air and prescribed it for all kinds of remedies and all kinds of blessings worldly or spiritual. The Vibhuti that he gave was innumerable kinds su su suited to different purpose for which it was created. Sometimes it was <clears throat> it was in the shape of hard cubes through more often it was a powder, fine gray, greeny or falky. <clears throat> it could be a fragrant or pungent, salty or sweet, sometimes absolutely tasteless in color in it was white or blackish or any of the intermediate shades sometimes when he waved his hand vibhuti materialized container and all such a baba's association with vibhuti and that his biography professor kasturi dedicated an entire chapter entitled the wave of the, his hand to record it so beautiful how he just made <clears throat> Bastma available for all cures. Let's move to the Atma Pramana. Atma Pramana of Bhagwan narrating his Leela and giving us powerful cognition. Relay and receiving center. Aksha, now I'm going to start sending Navaratnas, nine gems. The next is that only. Now the Rudraksha is very successfully happening. So the nine gems, gems will start in few days. I already started getting the gems. They are ready. I am just teleporting some at least few hundred Rudrakshas. Once that becomes clear, then next starts gems. <laughs> I am just collecting one or two Rudrakshas which got teleported. 
and doing the scientific test that both are same quality and all that verification once that is done the next is navratnas i want all of you to know all these objects from the matter it becomes energy it reaches to bidhi banyan tree kalpadar banyan tree wherever the objects may be see even when the akshatas were teleported from madurai it first came to this banyan tree then to my ananda ganda from there it travels to the disciple or a deity which is who is receiving if the deity is receiving it reaches to the deity or if the disciple is receiving it reaches the ananda ganda of the disciple then it gets materialized in the hand we already ordered for a scanner and some of the equipments necessary to trace this movements in few months we will clearly scientifically prove how when some objects gets teleported actually if you scan my body at that moment when i am saying it is moving you can see that object entering into my body and getting disappeared through scan that clear energy wave that matter entering and getting dismantled and moving and getting en entering into the disciple who is receiving in his ananda ganda his sir are ananda ganda and getting assembled in the hand we can very clearly show you so bidhi banyan tree acts like a energy center relay and receiving center cosmos uses the divine energy uses the bidhi kalpa vriksha banyan tree to relate with all of us to relate with the world that is why i am asking you to face towards the bidhi banyan tree just yesterday we got the sample we are making a unique campus wherever you are whenever wherever you travel if you just open that campus it will show you exactly the direction of bridhi banyan tree then you can <laughs> do your shakti dharana do your en kriya facing it all the boons you receive you are reckless first reaches the bidhi banyan tree kalpadar banyan tree and it gets answered it is a kalpa vriksha kalpa taru the banyan tree is that is the reason i am asking you to face towards the bidhi banyan tree kalpa vriksha all right if it is true that bidhi banyan tree is a kalpa vriksha and it is used by divine as the energy center it's a powerful energy center i can say the bidhi kalpa vriksha banyan tree is a substitute for a living master whatever can happen to you in the presence of a living master can happen in the presence of the bidhi kalpa vriksha banyan tree that's the reason i am asking you to face towards the bidhi banyan tree and raise your hand towards the sky and receive intensely the master's presence energy into you when you feel full surrender to the ground and empty yourself completely people ask me why should we surrender and empty all the energy to the earth please understand whenever energy happens in you don't get attached to it renounce it it will happen more and more when the shakti is renounced it becomes buddhi please understand when the shakti is renounced it becomes buddhi 
don't become greedy of energy no don't be greedy of energy when shakti is renounced surrender i tell you while you receive the energy first and when it reaches your system it will not be 100% pure your systems bio memories will get connected with the energy and when you surrender it to the earth along with energy all the impurities also will be cleansed when you renounce again and again your whole being will become pure now let's go to the shakshi pramanas initiated dev disciple devotees and balasins who have manifested the power of teleporting prasad now let's listen to the balasins the um, i metalis like kumkum vibhuti chandan and abhishekam powder these five things on the deities before the alankar so uh, during the alankar i told the people who did the alankaram in the temple that wipe away everything check all this completely uh, wipe the deities so that nothing is there take the pictures of the deities and send it to me and one of the priests from there he took all those photos and sent it to me then he told start the timer exactly within 21 minutes i sent him the list of what all are going to get mineralized uh, where which body part is going to get mineralized and uh, exactly 21 minutes later i got a call from him telling that all these 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 things have mineralized in different places of the deities so you can now see it on the screen so you can now see on the screen the different types of things which materialized like the one you are seeing on the screen is vibhuti on dakshinamurthi's feet beautiful we saw the materialization happen pratyaksha pramana scientific studies what can be measured measuring the effect of being in enlightenment state the science of teleportation science defines teleportation as a process by which an object is dematerialized and essential information about its atomic structure is sent to another point in space where the object is instantaneously rematerialized or reassembled into its component atoms explained using quantum mechanics Teleportation is a mechanism by which information of the exact state of an atom can be transmitted from one location to another. In this process, information is transported from one location to another using an entangled quantum state. Known as quantum teleportation, this process involves a phenomena called entanglement, which is possible only on a micro scale. As mentioned earlier, in classical terms, information is called a bit, and in quantum mechanics, it is called qubit. Whereas quantum entanglement allows teleportation to happen instantaneously, recreation of masses larger than an atom would also need a classical information link between the two locations. This link cannot process information faster than the speed of light, and thus there will be a time delay from point A. to point b for teleportation to occur source is taken from avatar shastra chapter 10 science of miracles page 202 there is a physical evidence of teleportation of structures ranging from sacred ash to larger objects across continent example from nityananda dhyanapitham bengaluru adinam to several international locations outside of india In physics laboratories the largest distance of experimental teleportation is 143 kilometers larger masses made up of multiple atoms would require more time for reassembly as they still need to use the classical channel in spite of information having preceded it instantaneously through quantum entanglement quantum teleportation is actually a process of replication similar to cloning or biological faxing where the same information is used to create a duplicate exactly like the original object the object itself is not teleported but only information about it is captured and used 
The main difference between teleportation, as science knows it, and more conventional forms of sending information from one place to another is that this is a process of instantaneous teleportation. In 1998, for the first time, a team of researchers at California Institute of Technology successfully teleported a photon across a distance of approximately one meter. However, in the process, the original object was destroyed. Since then, a number of teleportation experiments have been performed. In 2006, physicists at a Niels Bohr Institute, Denmark, led by Eugene Polzik, teleported photons across half a meter and used them to illuminate a cloud of atoms. This was considered a milestone because it involved teleportation between light and matter. In 2013, the research group succeeded in teleporting information between two clouds of gas atoms and to carry out the teleportation, not just one or few, few times, but successfully every single time. The results were published in scientific journal, Nature Physics. In stark contrast to these efforts, the teleportation of whole objects and even people is a well-defined practice in the mystical tradition. Unlike in the scientific context, it is not just the vital information about the object, but the object itself which is teleported. Power of Teleportation Teleport Prasad of Sacred Powders to Mass Life Audience Face to Face Setting Up For the setting up process, you will need a camera with timestamp. Ya Nanjana, this is optional. Number 3, any sacred powder. For example, you can use a turmeric, kumkum, or basma. And number 4, empty cups or plates for audience members. Take a few moments to set up your camera. Step number 1. Download the timestamp app. Step number two, click on video. Step number three, ensure that time is shown on screen. And step number four, make sure the camera is facing you. Please take a few minutes to set it up. Now the guidelines. Before we start the power manifestation process, let us go over the guidelines. For the setup, number one, choose a comfortable location to sit. Number two, Verify each audience member has a clean, dry, empty cup, bowl, or plate in front of them. Number three, set up the camera to fully capture both the manifestor and sacred powder and the receiving audience and their cup, bowl, or plate. To start, number four, turn on your video recording device with the location, date, and timestamp. Number five, if you have Yananjana, apply between your brows. If not, simply bring your awareness to your brow center. Number six, sit straight facing your audience. Verify that yourself, the audience have their empty containers to receive and remain fully visible to the camera during the whole duration of the manifestation. Number seven, bring your awareness between your brow center. Gently focus on the sacred powders in front of you while connecting to Paramashiva with a request to teleport the sacred powders to each of the participants' container. Number eight, Sit for 21 minutes, unclutched from all thoughts that arise during the continuous chanting of the Mahavakya and enjoy the experience. Number nine, after the Mahavakya subsides, video verify that the teleportation of sacred powders has disappeared from original container and teleported and reappeared in the individual participant containers. Number 10, manifestation range. Number one, body temperature change. Number two, kundalini energy surges. Number three, physically decreasing sacred powders. Number four, visibly apparent powder particles in the container of participants. And number five, absence of all powders from original plate and full teleportation of powders on or near the receiving containers. Now celebrate your manifestation of teleporting sacred powders offering to a mass live audience. Power Manifestation Instructions Let's sit straight, the head, neck and back in a straight line so that beautifully the Kundalini energy raises to the Agnya where the manifestation happens. Usually we are, our, our um, awareness is on 
Muladhara Swadishtana and Manipura Haver, Navel Center, your below navel center. Here, bringing the awareness to your third eye and sitting straight will give us amazing possibility of power manifestation. Now, let's understand few words that Bhagwan is repeatedly using Shakti Pada, oneness, be unclutched, initiation. So, here first, we will see in Bhagwan's words what is Shakti Pada. Let me give an introduction about what is Shakti Pada process. Please understand. You would have seen or heard about how the chicken sits on the egg and hatches. Of course, in the modern countries, this does not happen. Machine sits on the egg and <laughs> our egg sits on the machine. In those days, originally when <laughs> hens and chicken were getting produced on the planet Earth, the hen used to sit on the chicken and hen used to sit on the egg and the <laughs> chicken will come out of the egg. See, same way, Sadashiva sitting means the ultimate cosmic energy sitting on the individual soul and making the individual soul into cosmic energy is Shaktipada. Hence, sitting on the egg and making the chicken happen, same way. You may think, how come, what is going on here that and is only sitting just by the body heat of the hen and the egg is becoming chicken. Because no surgery is done and nothing goes inside. It's only sitting. Same way, it is just sitting. It's only the presence, the Shaktipada. makes the individual soul into cosmic soul. Beautifully, Bhagavan explained Shakti Pada, how individual soul becomes cosmic soul. And let's listen to initiation. You see, let me explain the initiation. Initiation is the process beyond your intellectual understanding the transmission of lamp happens now you understood something intellectually there is something which is not understood which can't be transmitted through the words that is transmitted that's what we call initiation sometime i tell you know, people that unless you are initiated the techniques do not create the result. The reason is you do not grasp completely whatever is expressed through words. Initiation is like a, it just transmits whatever need to be transmitted beyond logic and beyond words. People ask me, why to wear this bracelet or this mala and all those things? This all will remind you. Why bracelet in the hand? It will remind you before eating, did you meditate? It's a constant reminder. Before eating, let you be reminded, did you do the meditation? That is why this bracelet. That is why this mala. That is why this external things. Sometimes, this external things does a big job of reminding you constantly. That is why, take the help of external things also, nothing wrong. People ask me, why we can uh, just be spiritual without having external things? If you can, really you are welcome. But I don't think anybody who speaks in that way is successful. I have never seen people becoming successful, avoiding the external things, just having internal things. And it is just a nice way of escaping from yourself. <laughs> Mm. 
beautifully Bhagwan explained initiation less listen to be unclutched what is to be unclutched the thoughts every thought is independent illogical unconnected and unclutched because the gap between two thoughts is too small the neutral space between the two, two thoughts is too small you think all the thoughts are connected and it is in the sharp form it is not by your very nature every thought is independent illogical unconnected and unclutched every, between every thought you experience a neutral space when you change the gear whether you go from neutral to one or one to two or two to three or three to four or four to whatever whatever gears may change but every time you have to come to the neutral space only then you can go to the next gear even if you want to go from two to three you have to come to the neutral space only then you can go to three same day between every thought you experience a neutral space you experience a neutral space between every thoughts between every thought that neutral space that silence is what i call peace or bliss the peace which exists the bliss which exists already in you between every thought the gap of the thought the gap between the thoughts that neutral space is the peace is the bliss when you understand you are unconnected independent illogical and unclutched by your very nature you will start experiencing the neutral space in you neutral space which exists in you you will start living from moment to moment in spontaneity we need to understand one more thing this technique of being unclutched it does miracles in your being in the body level or in the mental level or in the being level in every level when you understand the truth by your very nature you are unclutched the tremendous quantum transformation you take a quantum jump the transformation happens in quantum not step by step just on jump you take a quantum jump and experience the truth awakening in you the oneness space is the most beautiful space that bhagwan himself is explaining how we are ferocious beyond the tiredness and boredom we can experience the space of oneness and be unclutched oneness is not imagination oneness is not visualization oneness is not even just declaration it is your existence and an idea which is you is oneness the idea which has become part of your very space which does not tire you or bore you by the passage of the time is oneness mahadeva says in the agama sadashiva beautifully explains in the agama kala yama cannot tire you or bring boredom to you if something becomes your space devi achieved 
the blissful state and union with Mahadeva on Shivaratri day because our space became oneness. Anything which brings tiredness or boredom has not yet become your space. If living in this body brings you tiredness and boredom, you are not going to be living in this body forever. When that becomes too much, you are going to drop it and move ahead. If you want to be in oneness forever, it should become part of your space. Means you should become ferocious with you and break this very tiredness and boredom. Only when you deal you with the ferociousness, you break the tiredness and boredom. With that ferociousness, you need to make oneness as your space. Anything stands as an imagination in the length level, visualization in the breadth level, declaration in the depth level. If you open your time with ferociousness, it just sinks into space level. With this ferociousness, the time layer in you opens and the oneness from imagination to visualization to declaration, it becomes your space, the way of existence. The most important, Bhagavan says, being unclutched, understanding the Shakti Pada, the oneness space, and chanting the Mahavakya. The Mahavakya, the power of the Mahavakya, pushes you into the higher states of consciousness. Here, Bhagavan himself explains how we can experience the Shakti Pada, raised higher consciousness through Mahavakya. It's one of the very important revelation by Sadashiva. All the electronic equipments work when the electrons are made to vibrate. That, that happens by the light. When the electricity is supplied, the light particle vibrates, the electronic equipment starts working. Just like that, the spiritual power and the umbilical cord connection, spiritual umbilical cord connection between you and me, it works with sound particle. For example, my integrity with the cosmos, Sadashiva, Maha Sadashiva, it reverberates in certain level of frequency. When you are integrated to me, you also start reverberating in the same frequency. If your integrity goes down, that is when you start connecting with me only as a manager or this organization head or your Purvashram father, mother. Your connection with me goes down to the lower level if the integrity gets reduced. I was wondering what is the way we can bring people to the higher integrity immediately and the feeling connection so they start manifesting the powers, they start staying in the space of Sadashivatva. Sadashiva revealed a beautiful sound. I can tell you this is like a password. At any point, if you are not able to bring yourself to oneness, you are a little shaken, disturbed, or for some reason, you are not able to bring yourself to oneness. This is like a password. You type, whether your mind feels connected or not, the energy will start flowing in you beyond the depth dimension. You see, all mind oscillation, restlessness, all mental idea based feeling connected or not feeling connected is only length, breadth, depth level. Not in the space level. 
but this sound will straight infuse energy from the space level like for example if the power goes off automatically the generator will get switched on and the power supply will be going on so end result will not be lost whether government power supply or the generator power supply end result will not be stopped so whenever you feel little that one as is you are not catching it just feed this password immediately the one as will open up and you will start manifesting the powers energy and the whole space will shift it is directly from sadashiva it's a beautiful sound i don't even want to say it's a mantra it is not even a mantra because there is no meaning in it you can't derive a meaning for it it just flashed like a password for all the initiations i am giving one single password for all the initiations i am giving and the initiations i gave i am giving i will be giving for all that this is like one password don't even repeat like a mantra just feed like a password and it will just open up your whole being will open up listen carefully it starts with the vibration o listen and then repeat o very deep o nityananda nityananda maha So Bhagwan gave beautiful explanation of how you can be in Shakti Pada. Visualize Paramashiva who has come down as Bhagwan Nityananda Paramashiva from Kailasha. Remembering Paramashiva in your third eye again and again, bringing your awareness to your third eye simply makes you manifest powers. Absolute unclutching. How Bhagwan said. the neutral zone nothing ever touches the screen like same way the movie does not touch the screen whether it is happening in ferocious or any soft view beautiful nothing touches the screen be unclutched like the screen and to experience the state of paramashiva your inner space being completely unclutched complete completion to experience the space of paramashiva inside us the complete completion happens when we are in tune with parameshiva that everything is redundant and irrelevant the essence of completion is irrelevant nothing matters in your life because everything is complete completion oneness with parameshiva how bhagwan said in ferocious breaking the boredom and tiredness just being in the space of oneness with parameshiva to manifest the powers of parameshiva tyaga as parameshiva is your only strength now declaring complete integrity with bhagwan to experience the being of parameshiva how bhagwan said chanting the maha vakya raises your frequency and that is your only strength to manifest any reality being in this beautiful space of parameshiva you can experience such a beautiful space state powers and becoming the being of parameshiva manifesting whatever you want now you will be manifesting the powers watching the oneness capsule and chanting the maha vakya om nityananda parameshivoham we'll be playing the maha vakya and the oneness capsule for you to manifest powers at end of the maha vakya you can start with the verification and sharing and causing thank you ಪರಮಶಿವಂ ಓ 
Om Yanam Parama Shiva 
Om Paramashivam Om Dhyananda Paramashivam Om Dhyananda Paramashivam Yananda Paramashivam Om Yananda Paramashivam Yananda Paramashivam Om Yananda Paramashivam Om Yananda Paramashivam Let Paramashiva's third eye manifest in all our third eyes. Let the Amrita pour, let the Varni open up, manifest in all of us. Let Paramashiva overflow, manifest the power in all our third actions. Om Jnananda Paramashivam Om Jnananda Paramashivam Om Jnananda Paramashivam Yananda Paramashivam Om Yananda Paramashivam Om Yananda Paramashivam Yananda Paramashivam Om Yananda Paramashivam Om Yananda Paramashivam Yananda Paramashivam Om Yananda Paramashivam Om Yananda Paramashivam Om Yananda Paramashivam Om Yananda Paramashivam
Shivoham Om Nityananda Parama Shivoham Om Nityananda Parama Shivoham Verification process. Please verify for each of the video cameras that the time and date stamp appear on each of the cameras used. Number two, that the cameras have a wide angle horizontal view and a clear full view. Number three, that you have not edited the video in any way and that the cameras remain stationary. Number four, the video recording is continuous without stopping and restarting during the manifestation process. Number five, video verify. A, all receiving containers to start are empty and free of dust plus powders. B, sacred powders dematerializing from the original container before the manifester and witnessed by participants' physical eyes and see that the teleportation of the sacred powders has happened in front of all receiving participants. Now that the verification process is complete, the next instructions will guide you where to upload and share your video. Thank you so much for your participation. Beautiful. We are at the end of the power manifestation, but most important part of the power manifestation. Here, we are going to share all that you have manifested with the social media groups. Here we have Sri Kalasha Kotiyar Manifesting Power Groups. Thousands of people are part of that. And you can share there and you can post your powerful cognition and the videos. The link is tinyurl.com slash power manifestation. It is at the left corner of the page. You can click on it and you can post your beautiful experience in the power manifestation group. Why sharing and causing is very important part of power manifestation. Bhagwan beautifully exp explains that sharing is pulling us out of delusion and causing is liberating us. We are the ones who need to start experiencing the higher states of reality, how we need to exist. Beautifully Bhagwan explains when you are sharing with others the ultimate beautiful multidimensional logic, your brain rewires into the higher space of consciousness, the Turiya Tita state. Again and again, when you experience even a little bit, you share with the world, your experience becomes reality. Same thing when you cause others to come and get initiated for higher reality, you are caused into the higher purpose, the ultimate. Reality, Bhagwan says, extreme causing, extreme power manifestation is extreme causing. So beautifully, he explains how we, our strength is declared on Paramashiva. The power manifestation happens exactly in tune to that. And sharing with the world, continuously reiterating ourselves, the experience that we had from the powerful cognition and manifesting the space of Paramashiva, the state of Paramashiva, the beings of Paramashiva, we become Paramashiva. Go on sharing and causing, which is the most important part of how you have experienced your reality. When you go to a temple, we pray and we see that beautiful experience happen in us and then share with the world that how amazing the temple experience has manifested as your reality. Same way, when you manifest powers, when you share with the world, it becomes more and more the depth cognition of you and you will be experiencing more powers. Even if you're manifested very small, it does not matter the quantity, Bhagavan says. The quality is important. If it is authentic, please go ahead and share with the world. Do not doubt, have self-doubt, self-denial, self-hatred, come and block anything. Experience the ultimate in deep seeking and gratitude. Bhagavan manifest in you with a deep prayer that asking Bhagwan to make this reality as your existential reality. With that, let's end with the Purna Mantra. 
thanking Bhagwan for all these great experience. We have come to the end of the Power Manifestation course and we end with the Purna Mantra. Om Purnamada Purnamidam Purna Purnamadashyate Purnasya Purnamataya Purnameva Vashishyate Om Shanti 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 Hi Hari Om Tat Sat Sarvam Bhagavate Sri Nityanda Parmashim Padukar Panamastu Om Nityanandam Thank you for participating in the Jnana Patati, Nityananda Jnana Patati course. Please go ahead and select more power manifestation and every day experience the ultimate reality for yourself. Nityananda. Om Nityananda Paramashivuham